This is the L91 high limit controller. You'll notice the lock light is lit. If the lock light is lit, you press and hold the reset button until the lock light goes out. Then you press and hold the scroll key, that's the button with the circle with the arrows at the end. Hold it until the display reads INPT and you'll notice that it flashes. We utilize J-type thermocouples in most of our equipment and you'll see that this is accepting a J-type thermocouple. If it's not set to J-type, you can make the adjustment using the up and down arrow keys until it does say J-type and the J looks like a backwards L. Press the scroll key and it takes you to the next screen which displays units. This is where you can set it to centigrade or Fahrenheit. We will change that to Fahrenheit by pushing the arrow keys. Press the scroll key and you will see Resolution RESO. This shows NODP which means no decimal points. Press the scroll key and you will see Shift. This is where the offset is put in for calibration. Typically we would calibrate the DES 2000 controller and then make adjustments to the shift on the high limit controller to ensure that these two values match. Press the scroll key and you will see filter, which should be set to zero. Press the scroll key again and you will see we're using output one high. Press the scroll again and you will see the history at 3.6 degrees. Press scroll again and you will see the low limit set point. Press scroll again and you will see high limit set point. Typically we like to set this at about 410 degrees Fahrenheit or 208 degrees centigrade so we have some headroom above the high set point of the controller. At this point we are done. Press reset to release and you are back to normal operation.